Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banning of Azure Pencil, which I do want to say in the previous episode we played as Tainted Maggie and had a pretty fun run. I mean, we unlocked Soul of Magdalene, but not much else, because unfortunately Error Room Red Key kind of screwed me over. And then we obviously went for Delirium, but Delirium with the Spirit Sword. That ain't so easy. It ain't so easy. I do want to play Jacob and I do want to play Lazarus, but I do know that fairly soon they're getting some sort of actual rework patch. And I want to try and hold off on playing them both until they come. Uh, I just think it's going to be kind of the better way to do it. Um, we've, we've got a few characters, but we've only got like one or two more things to do. Um... I think I'm going to play as Tainted, uh, Tainted Bethany right now. Tainted Bethany's always a fun one to break the game with. Going with our um, Lemmageddon and Freezer Baby to start here. Do not steal my Lemmageddon charge. I will actually murder someone if you do. I will murder someone. Ah! God damn it. It managed it. It managed it. Of course, you guys kind of know the play at the minute. We, we've got to go and find the secret room and then use our book in the secret room. Um, I do know the echo chamber, since we last used it, we'll probably use it this episode as well if we can manage to get it, is getting a pretty hefty nerf because, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. It is absurdly broken. Roid Rage is pretty good for us here. Um, yeah. I'm going to say, yeah, it's, it is kind of broken. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to dispute that at all. Give us a red heart, you little headless boy. Come on, freezing. Damn you, game. We need bombs. Okay, that, that one got froze. Nice. Didn't freeze anyone else, though, sadly. Freezer baby, or freezer box, whatever you want to call him. Little cube baby. He can be really, really good. Or, like, just kind of chill out and do nothing. <laughs> More than likely, he just chills out and does nothing. That's, that seems to be my uh, my experience with him. Okay, so now we have a bit of a more pressing use for a bomb right now. Please give us a bomb. Please give us a bomb. Ah, heck. All right, Duco flies. Trying to get that cute baby in there when possible, but it's not always easy. That's good. That's good. Yes, the chain has started. The chain has started. I love this boss for this reason. Just everything gets frozen. <laughs> you just start this mega chain of freezing enemies with the with the uh, the icicles. It's great. Flies are just the, the most fun enemies to do this with. Oh, bandage, unfortunately, not the greatest for us. Um, anything in particular we want to do? We probably want to go do dark path, get the trinket unlocked. But let's see, let's see, shall we? Right. So secret room is what we're looking for mainly. If we can get it. I'm probably not going to use too much of uh, Lemmageddon until we manage to get secret rooms. They are the better items, of course. Sacred Orb and all that. Uh, I will take this Balls of Steel. No, just relax. No Balls of Steel for us. Do you know what? I'll use it in this room because it's not a thingy charge. And we got Holy Water. That's pretty good. Um, it's not a red charge. We want to use all of our red charges in um, in secret rooms, really. Oh, we just lost Broid Rage straight away. But we kept Holy Water. And I think Holy Water is going to kind of be the king of the show for a little bit here. If I could get a single... Single bomb rather than tons of keys. Okay, actually, that's more than a single bomb. That's infinite bombs. That's pretty nice. That's no secret room. Oh, rainbow poop here. Okay, that's nice. Again, let's just just we're just gonna try and bomb pretty much everything we can. Joker, that's pretty good. There we go. We'll pop this in here. Uh, epic fetus. My god. Good start. I think last time we had Epic Fetus, actually, didn't we? Epic Fetus is a very, very good thing. And it's also unlimited bombs. <laughs> more and more unlimited bombs. I love it. That's really nice. Especially the double. Right, just get the bombs in there. Kill as many spores as we can get. Oh my god, I almost hurt myself then. So close. Right. Last spider. Nope, not the last spider. There's one of you as well. Ooh, hello. Very nice. Right, let's get back into that secret room real quick. And pop it again. Eye of Greed. Don't think that's really what we needed. Ooh, that's good though. Nice amount of stuff there for us. Um, second secret room. Ooh, Eye of Greed can trigger 
while we're targeting Epic Fetus. That's kind of annoying. We've got to kind of tap shoot with it. Yeah, we're going to end up wasting quite a lot of money here. While well, we use Epic Fetus, I will admit. Right, keep going. Try and get another charge before we leave. I will destroy both of these fires just to sort of make sure. Also, Holy Water is kind of useless now as well with Epic Fetus. But this is some good stuff. Secret Room is just so overpowered with Lemma again. So overpowered. Um, we might not be able to get an additional charge down here, but I feel like I just, I have to check. I just have to. I can't not. Oh, I missed my speed from Roid Rage already. Right, crack that open. Ooh, Golden Rosary. Higher Angel Chance. Higher Chance to find the Bible. You know what? I'm just going to take it. There's a bomb. Yeah, getting the Golden Rosary here. Kind of interesting. Right, on our way to our boss. Let's go get it done. But yeah, doing uh, doing Dark Path here should be pretty viable for us. We shouldn't have too hard of a time, I don't think. As long as we can keep our health high. There you go. Boom. Oh, no. One of these is kind of annoying for us. We managed to freeze it. Thank you, Freezer Baby. Oh, you bombed yourself. Cool. HP up. I don't think Devil Deal is the way to go. Let's go back into our secret room and get one more additional item first. Good. Sausage. All stats up. Hey, hey, hey. That is very, very nice. And away we go. Down. We're going dark path, so we just want to go down the normal path. Don't, don't, no need to go to alt path this time around, I don't think. Dark path is the way to go. And yeah, sausage here. Fantastic as an all stats up. Also a consolation prize here. Really nice. Really? It gave us a fucking... What the hell? It gave us a troll bomb. That really is a consolation prize. I'm going to bomb all the uh, possible exits in that room because any of them could have been a secret room. Early we find the secret room, the better, really. God damn, we're going to waste so much money because that I agree pickup. Very annoying. Very, very annoying indeed. Right, that looks kind of secret roomy. Indeed it is. Get in there. Pop that. Orphan socks. It's speed up's really nice. I'm very, very happy with the speed up. But it's uh, not particularly great. I mean, we, we can uh, walk on spikes now, which is kind of nice. We need flight, really. Flight would be good. Okay, that was great. Yes, okay. Just freeze as much as we can. I don't know how this guy survived me uh, bombing him. Maybe because he's made of bombs. There you go. Beautiful. What are you? Nothing for me. Oh, God. Epic Fetus is one of those items as well where it's nice playing uh, this character. Because you don't really get to use it that much. And it's one of those items that's really fun to use. But only if you get it, like, rarely. Chaos. I think Chaos is bad. I think Chaos kind of ruins things for us. So let's try and get rid of it. Oh, for God's sake. Worst enemies to try and get rid of it on. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, Chaos is kind of bad just because we're not going to get the... Um, we're not going to get the items from the pools that we want to get them from. And that's kind of the whole point of what I'm getting. Boom. Oh, God, I didn't even hit that guy. Bone Spares here is pretty good, too. Oh, my God, our money. We had, like, 20 cent when we started this floor. This is so annoying. Right. Let's take Sackhead. Sackhead might be good. We'll see. We shall see. Yes, thought it'd be there. Lots of red hearts. That's really, really good stuff. So now we can go boom, boom, boom. Double odd mushroom. <laughs> we tend that tends to happen quite a lot, doesn't it? We get we get odd mushroom from the secret room pool pretty regularly. I mean, I'm cool with it. It's definitely a decent pickup. There we go. I was thinking about how to best do that, but I got it. Right, onto the next floor. Just crazy how overpowered this character can be. <laughs> it's like, just so insane. 
Oh, we got a burn heart as well. Nice. Right, one more usage in the secret room. You just, what's the point in using it anywhere else? Secret room items are just too good. They're just too good. Uh, we didn't get an angel deal this this floor, so we could um, astral projector. We could joker. Yeah, that worked out pretty nicely. I mean, I know I don't have any charges to, to use here, but honestly, I don't really care. We've already done mega certain. Indeed, we have. Right, let's go. Let's -a go. We need like a PhD or um, PhD or look for or something like that, so we can know what all the pills are before taking them. Because if we do end up getting echo chamber, we really want to know what pills are before we take them. I, I really like burn spares, by the way. I think burn spares is a really good item. And I, I know that it's not like super high effectiveness, but it's really good. We should take the pill to find out what it is before we get echo chamber. Astral projection here. I don't know how this works. What's going on? What happened? I really don't know what happened. Okay. We're back into our body now. Interesting, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that. That's very weird. Stop firing penny tears, you shit. I hate it. <laughs> right. Rainbow worm. No, thank you. There's our secret room. Go in and kill all these guys first. Ooh, okay. So we did actually get some of that money back. I have greed. Ah, go away, I have greed. We don't want you. You just keep spending all my money. I don't want to spend all my money on nothing. I want to actually go to the shops and be able to buy stuff. Stupid thing. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Fuck you. It's like so unlikely that we'll hit an enemy as well. That's the worst part about it. It's so unlikely that we'll actually get any advantage from it. And now we've got like twice the chance, I think, for it to happen. Even worse. Cursed Penny. No thank you. Good, good. Shop. Honestly, I think we should buy this just to sort of get some identity on pills. So that... Bad trip, relax. Just so that when we uh, do get round to um, using Echo Chamber, if that ends up happening, we actually have something. Oh my god, Mum's knife. Okay. Very nice. Mum's knife in the item room. That's the first time I've found that in Repentance, which is actually kind of crazy, really, considering how lucky I've been getting. Tinted rock here. We are kind of massive at the minute. That's kind of a problem. Our oh, one makes you larger is a. A tad bit annoying. Oh, we need flight so bad. Not having flight is very, very annoying. But we push forward. We push forward. I heard a heart drop. There's a heart in this room somewhere. God damn, we're out of money again. Stop spending my money. It is the worst. Alright, we'll we've got plenty of keys, so we'll check this. Lovely. Don't chase me, spider. Back to the secret room real quick. We could get um, Transcendence from this as well, so it's also worth doing for that reason. Glitched Crown. Ooh, a Glitch Crown's an interesting one that I haven't actually had yet. I think it means that all items roll between nine different items or something. It's it's very, very good, although it's very tricky to actually get the item that you want. But it's an interesting item nonetheless, and I haven't had it yet. It was a unlock we got for doing the beast with uh, Tinted Isaac, I think, if I remember correctly. The astral, this astral projection thing, I, I really don't know if I like it. It seems kind of trashy. It just, like, kind of literally takes you out of the experience. I get that that's kind of the point, but, like, it feels weird. I don't like it. I'm liking this Mum's Knife uh, action we got going on right now, though. And it's good because we actually got Mum's Knife as an item. It's not a wisp, so we can't lose it. Even if we lose Epic Fetus, we still have Mum's Knife. And I feel like that's going to be pretty darn good for us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's got to be uh, second secret room, right? Yeah. You're just It's just inviting. You can, you can just tell sometimes. Lock up. 
Infested. Speed up. We need a one makes you smaller. Like, really badly. I really want to be small again. We are far too large. I mean, that is one of the reasons is because we've got a fat odd mushroom, I think. I think that's making us larger. Than we would ordinarily be. Good, good. We've got another charge going as well, so let's go back to our secret room. Secret room is the only way. Although we could go Angel, but I, I don't know. Se secret room's just too good. I mean, why, why not just go back to this secret room? It doesn't matter which one we go to. Samson's chain. Of course. It had to show up at some point. The trashiest item to ever exist. It had to show up at some point. Right. Fight the boss. Hello. It's you. Oh my god. You're almost dead. I do apologize, sir. I did not mean to destroy you, sir. Right. So I've heard that the there's a really good way of getting the item you want with this. I want the damage up. So what you've got to do is you've got to like pause the game on the item before the item you want so we, we want to pause it on wire coat hanger nah yeah we, we gotta pause it on wire coat hanger so let's wait so then we go yeah you see synth oil easy this is gonna be a lot harder i want um holy light i think we got Genesis there, which is kind of interesting, but I actually really like all the items I have. So, Sensor comes before Holy Light, so we want to go Sensor. Yes, Holy Light, easy. Glitch Crown, easily done. Easily done. And then we've actually got a charge that we can use in here as well. Habit, it's kind of interesting. And let's go down. Yeah, that's how, that's how you make the most out of Glitch Crown. Get really close to the item and pause the game one item before the item that you want. And then unpause while holding the direction to walk into the item. And you'll almost always just get the item you want. Which makes uh, makes Glitch Crown a lot more powerful than it would first seem. Because at first it's kind of like, oh, this is cool. I can get some better items. But also I've got a good chance at just not getting the item I wanted at all. But now it's a much more guaranteed chance. Or at least uh, like... A good, like, 80% certainty. I saw it on a YouTube video um, a little while back. I think it was, like, a month ago when Repentance kind of first came out and people were first getting the uh, the unlocks of the Tainted Characters. I love the fact that we're just, like, permanently poor now and there's nothing we can do about it. Like, we just, we, we're just spending all of our money automatically. Nice. Secret room wise, I'm not actually 100% sure here. Could be, nah, I guess it could be off of this room. Probably not, unless it's right there. Nope, look at all those burn spares. I love it. It's so pretty. Yeah, Mum's Knife Holy Light business now is going really, really well. <laughs> this is quite good. Quickly check up here. Quickly check down here. There it is. Pop that bad boy. Keybum. Join the party, little lad. Good question marks. Okay, we're, we're killing stuff at insanely fast speed at the minute. Basically, things have no chance. Pop that. Don't even know what I'm getting from most of these. We've got a half heart in here somewhere. I feel like we should make an effort to grab it, wherever the hell it is. Yeah, honestly, for a key, it's worth it to blow up the blue fire and grab the red heart for a charge. I really do think it is. Secret room could be here. It is not. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Fool card. Okay, so let's have a look what we got here. Um, I think we want... I don't actually know what we want here. Little spew doesn't matter. Dark bomb doesn't matter. I think we want Pop Pop. So we want to get Blood Puppy on our paws. Ah, we just got Blood Puppy that time. Okay, we were standing a little bit too close there. Honestly, 
I'm not I'm not exactly sad about Blood Puppy. He's a cool little lad. Oh, we got um we got some good stuff there as well. We got be belly jelly this time, which I really want. Can can you just stop being a shithead? I hate these enemies with with um epic fetus. It's, it's just so unenjoyable. <laughs> right, we want belly jelly. Let's try and get it. We want to stand relatively close. Right. So we want we want glowing hourglass as our item. Yes, we got it. Belly jelly. Belly jelly is a 50% chance to negate all contact and thingy damage. Um contact or what's it called? Thank you. I want to take alabaster box. I know it's a bit of a bit of a risky one, but I want to take alabaster box here. What's the item before alabaster box first? Okay, so we want we want to be on on the key. We're so large. This is this is really annoying to to do because we're so large. It's the one item we can't fucking see because we're too close to it. It's really annoying. Our hair's too big. We got it. Nice one. Alabaster box. Ooh, can we fill it with red health? If we can, that's really powerful. Curved horn. Definitely going to take that. Wait, there's, there's red health in there. Didn't mean to use that. Whoopsie. Oh my god, we can charge it with red health. That's very strong. <laughs> That's very, very strong for us. We should be able to fill this very quickly. I am I am definitely going to do this. It's very worthwhile to get this charged up quicker. Right, keep going on you. Also, Kevd Horn here. Very nice to get. God's sake. Luckily, Blood Puppy, he is going to get aggressive, but he, he should be e e really easy to kill in a single thing. Can, can you pop up so Blood Puppy can kill you, please? Thank you. Go back. We did lose a fire, but I don't know what we lost. I'm not really going to pay attention to whatever it was anyways. Can you guys jump out of the floor, please? There you go. Pains in my arses. Pains in my arses. Oh, we don't actually want to use Lemmageddon yet anyways, because we'll end up using red charges. We do not want to use red charges at the minute. We want to keep as many of those as we can. So let's go and fight our boss. Oh my god, the damage. The damage. It's too good, man. It's too good. I think we just want the HP up, you know. Okay, so we want safety pin. Oh, I, was, I, was, I wasn't even fucking close enough to it. God damn it. Ah, we just got safety pin. I mean, that, that does give us health, so... Not terrible, but... Still. Devil deal room we don't care for at the minute, do we? I don't believe. Um, We'll only use two red charges here, so let's go in. I mean, I suppose it could be pretty good considering the amount of good items here. Okay, that hand is going to be annoying. Um, like there's Abaddon and stuff there. But I feel like we should just pop this and get that and then get out of here. It's too risky. Uh, let's go on down to the next floor. And I'm liking how this is panning out. I am liking how this is panning out. No mapping for us at the minute. Half soul heart, we're one charge off. We are a single charge away. Oh, that was pretty good. Didn't expect that to happen. We got an ancient recall, which is really good for us. Ancient recall. We should have kept it actually. Uh, that was a bit stupid of me. Because it's ancient recoil call call even is really broken with um what's it called? Echo chamber. So we should have maybe saved it. Oh well. Yes, yeah, so let's pop this. And then we can get So this didn't give us angel items, surprisingly. So we definitely want we definitely want Holy Mantle. So let's have a little look, see what Holy Mantle comes after. Compound Fracture, and then Anti-Grav, and then Able, and then... So we want, we want to be landing it on Able. Okay, be, be quicker. Ah, 
Ah, oh, we got Abel. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that one I'm just going to walk into. Yeah, that was a bit of a shame. <laughs> I managed to actually get Abel there. It's kind of tricky to do. You've really got to line it up right. Ooh, we finally lost Epic Fetus. We finally lost Epic Fetus. Right, so now we've actually got to look for our secret room on this floor, which is kind of annoying. But it might not be that hard to find. We've got plenty of opportunity. Let's go looking. We've got plenty of bombs. There you go. Not too bad at all. Chaos. Stop giving us chaos. <laughs> God damn it. I don't want chaos. Makes that angel deal items shite. Yeah, glitch crown's a weird one. I need to... I, I definitely need to get better at that tactic. I need to pause on, like, the very, very last frame. And I keep pausing a little bit too early, I think. Um, This is kind of interesting. Jacob's ladder's definitely something I want. So, the Bible. So, it's the Bible first and then Jacob's Ladder. Got it. Yas. Very nice. I like the idea of this. Oh, bomb there. I want my Epic Fetus back. That's kind of what I'm, uh, what I'm hoping for at the minute. Can't remember where the secret room is anymore. I think it was here somewhere. There it is. Technology Zero. Kind of an interesting one. Why did I even go into the secret room? I just realized that's really stupid because we have chaos. <laughs> Although Glitch Crown with chaos seems like it's pretty good, actually, thinking about it now. Oh, that's uh, that, that was pretty good. I have to admit, that was pretty good. Over these spikes. Make sure we take Dark Path here. Have we done Boss Rush? We have. We've already got Solar Bethany. I, I thought we did. Stuff. Make sure we take Dark Path here. Good. -er. Yeah, maybe having Chaos is going to be nice because we don't have to worry too much about where we're using Lemmageddon anymore. We can just kind of use it wherever. Oh, we got uh, Bombs are key horse pill. I'm going to guess that doesn't do anything. I can't imagine it would do anything extra. I'm trying to think what it would even do. Give you double the amount of bombs that you have keys or whatever, maybe? Sharp plug really is not good for us, and I'll probably end up accidentally hurting myself because of it. Oh my god, our damage is so good, though. So very good. Please, red poops, get out of the way. And at this point, we're kind of just, like, speeding along because we're, 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 we're pl uh, plenty strong. Telepathy the dummy is actually not too bad. We don't want to pop in there because there's no point. If we go in there, we're only going to see question mark items anyways. We can't glitch crown our way out of it or anything like that. Don't know why I used Slappy for Dummies in our first room there. It made no sense whatsoever. We got ourselves something there that gave us a range up, I think. But I, I didn't actually see what item we got. So, Holy Light plus Jacob's Ladder is going to be like our sort of room clearing potential here, as you can see. And Mum's Knife plus Homing is actually really good now, so you got to pay attention to that. Got to pay attention to it. Mum's Key. Right, we're probably going to lose Wisps in the process here as well. I'm not really bothered about, like, trying to get rid of Chaos and play, play anything weirdly now. I think we're plenty strong enough with the actual items that we have on this run, not not our wisps. I think we're plenty strong to just go for it and try and get the win. Do you know, I hate not having mapping. Where the fuck am I going? I hate it. <laughs> I just hate not having mapping. I want to know where I'm going. Like, have I have I been through this room yet? Is there a room over here? I can't remember. Did I go up here? I think I did. Yes, I did. Oh my god, it's the worst. Not having mapping is so frustrating. Especially on the womb where dead ends are just like everywhere. Like literally every step you take is a dead end. I've been through here already apparently. Have I been this way? Nope, there isn't a this way. Does it this way? We definitely haven't been this way yet. Doesn't mean it is this way. 
Wow. You got annihilated, sir. You know what? Pop this. I love how we look as well. We look like a mad scientist. Okay, we just lost something. I think it was Odd Mushroom. We got a speed up. Odd Mushroom is a speed down, so it makes sense. Okay, well, we're definitely still going the wrong way here. It's very frustrating. I wish I could find the right way. Oh my god. Where am I going? Not having mapping is probably the worst thing in this game. It's literally one of the most infuriating things. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Stranger Tractor is kind of an odd one for us here. I think it's good. With the knife, it can be a bit odd, but I think it should pull enemies quite far away from us for the most part. We should definitely grab that, how, uh, that health there. We're losing wisps left, right, and center at this point, though. So we've got to be kind of aware of that. We are, uh, we are taking quite the hit on them. That's good stuff. Bad trip, no thank you. Boom, boom. I just, I love how this, this, this would be a really overpowered run if we didn't have, uh, Lemmageddon. It'd still be a really good run. See what I mean? Like, I've, I've gone every which way I possibly can fucking go, and I still am lost. Like, where the hell am I going now? Okay, we actually found somewhere. We're probably gonna lose quite a lot of wisps here. But like I said, we don't really care. I'm trying to trying to think about what wisps we have that I really, really want to keep. And I honestly can't see many that I think are super valuable to us right now. We haven't been this way yet, have we? No, we have not. I managed to freeze that guy somehow. I don't know, don't know how or why. Right. Just careful of number two. We're going to end up pooping on the floor at some point. Got to be ready for it. Good, good. We did get perfection. Uh, I actually am not going to take perfection. Simply because I think we'll lose it pretty early on in the next few floors. And then we won't have kept on. And I'd rather have kept on. Oh my god, we've got no mapping again. What was I just saying about how much I hate this? Sacred Orb. Wow. Okay, not, not very good for us. But it does mean that I deal with the devils later on will be pretty high tier. Which is nice. Chaos again. Just in case we need more chaos with our chaos. We've got chaos again. We lost dark matter, definitely. Because I'm, I'm noticing that this the knife isn't black anymore. Come on. Stranger Tracks should be killing you. Oh, no. Oh, no. This room. This room. This room's bad. Get out of there. I don't know what's freezing stuff. What, what's going on with that? Blue map. Really good when we have no mapping. Thank you. Would actually be pretty positive for us on this floor if we had mapping. Because then we could go to secret rooms and use Lamageddon. But... Sad times. Big old sad times. What the fuck is this room? No, I'm not doing this room. <laughs> you can heck off if you think I'm doing that room. Why would I, why would I even bother? Where am I going? Oh my god. Take me the right way, please. I feel like I've been almost everywhere. Boom. More options. Don't think that's going to be super valuable to us, but hey her. More charges. Yeah, it's kind of freeing having chaos and not have to worry about room pools and everything. I can, I can just kind of go for it. Shit. Okay, apparently you can't pick those up as charges. I thought you would be able to. Incubus is awesome. We get ourselves a little little friend. Little friend is good with me. Right, just keep going the way that I think the boss is and hope for the best. Do not whip me. I will whip you in your ace. Go. There we go. Here's the boss. Nice. Jump in here, drop that down. One, two, three. There you go, got you. Herming here should make this a breeze. Oh my god. <laughs> got you very easily. Oh, the Herming. 
Herming is so good. Right. On our way we go. We got Sacred Orb here, so these Devil Deals should be pretty good. Cast of the Unknown, though. Don't, even know, don't know our HP. Um, I really don't think we care about any of those at all. Iobalile, nice. Yeah, I don't think any of those matter to us in the slightest. Nice. I keep hearing the Burn Spares crunch and wondering what on earth it is. And then remembering that it's Burn Spares. It's, a, it's just a, an item, like a sound for, for an actual item that we earn that we haven't had in Isaac before. It's always been something to do with enemies, so it's kind of a weird one. It's too crunchy. God, the Herming. It's so good. With Incubus as well, on top of it all. Mega battery. It charges everything a, a few times. Good. Keep a sack and Guppy's Tail. Guppy's Tail is fantastic here. Should be able to get a good few more items now if we keep Guppy's Tail around. Right, keep it going on you. Uh, unless we get red chests. Although, that, that did give us an item. Apparently, we don't have Glitch Crown anymore by the looks of things. Didn't really notice that, but yeah, that seems to be the case. Judgment. No, thank you. Oh, really? This is a terrible room. Wow. Luckily, we have the damage to make it go away pretty fast, but pretty horrible room nonetheless. Tractor beam is pretty good. Got you very quickly. Where's our boss at? Where the hell is our boss at? $3 bill and squeezy. I don't even think we need the HP, but I will take it. Gladly. Another mum's key. Hard to know what we have. I think there is a mod that allows you to know what um, what Lemmageddon items you have. I should probably go and download that. That sounds like it would be pretty damn useful to know. Because once you get to this stage, it's really hard to keep track of what items you've lost. Like, keeping track of the items you have isn't that bad, but keeping track of the items you've, you've kept and lost is difficult. Wafer here. Get, just not that this run was ever in any sort of... Uh, territory where we, where we didn't already have this, but Wafer just guaranteed us the win. It would take it would take a mighty mighty fuck up for uh, for us to not win, considering we just got the Wafer, and we're already at full health. We, I mean, we we're gonna win anyways, but you know what I mean. Twisted pair. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do it. I know I don't need to, but I'm gonna do it. I gave us conjoined as well. This is so many knives. <laughs> With Herming, this is going to be so crazy. The center. Right, so we get in there. We pop this. And you're dead. <laughs> Twisted pair. Made it so fun. There you go. We got it. The expansion pack trinket has been unlocked. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is a very fun one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.